Hello there, ladies, gentlemen, and Ashley. Ashley the unicorn is just one, but she's watching and I want to be extra nice, okay? All right, uh, today I'm going to play this one here. I've bought this one on eBay, it's Vortex, and I know nothing about it. The only no thing I know about it is I've heard that it was uh, something with a Super FX chip. You remember uh, the, the Mario chip, as it was called in, in Star Fox and Star Fox 2. So I only know that Vortex uses this one, uh, this chip here. And apart from that, I know nothing else, only maybe that it's robots or something, if we look at the cover. Well, who knows? So this will be an exercise in figuring out uh, what to do actually <laughs> and how to do it. And yeah. So maybe I might uh, get snarky or comment on how terrible this game telegraphs what it wants you to do while actually I'm not having read the instruction manual because this didn't come with an instruction manual. So yeah, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh. Okay, Super FX chip. Well, it looks promising. I love this logo. Argonaut Software. Oh, of course. Argonaut Software. Uh, it's a British developer. Um, initially, uh, it was uh, founded by Jess San. Jason and the Argonauts. That's why it's called Argonaut Software. And they did some great 3D graphics on the Game Boy. And also circumvented the Game Boy's lockout chip. And on on a, I think it was, was it a CES, a consumer electronics show? Uh, they showed their uh, 3D capabilities on the, on the Game Boy. And in the end, uh, really, they, they flew it. <laughs> uh, I think it was Jess Sen and one of his programmers, which was, I think, 19 at the time. And they got invited to Nintendo headquarters. This was uh, early 90s, 1990. Uh, probably because they cracked the Game Boy's lockout chip but they were impressed with the 3D graphics they could do on the Game Boy. And in the end, it, it led to the development of the Mario chip. And in the end, Argonaut programmers even tutored the Nintendo programmers uh, how to make a, a, a 3D game. So in principle, it was with Star Fox. The whole game design was uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and everything from Nintendo. But the actual coding and programming and engine was done by Argonaut Software. So, but this one here seems to be only from Argonaut Software. So this is why we can expect probably some pretty, pretty uh, cool 3D graphics. Okay, you will soon have to comment about, okay, this is Walker Mode, the principal mode of the MBS. Motherboard solution? There's three forward speeds and one reverse. It can jump high in the air and spin to face backwards. This is the only mode in which objects can be picked up and stored. Okay, walking mode, objects picking up and storing. All right, got it. Anything else? Bonus container, collect this, okay. Triangular key, collect this, okay. Triangular lock, unlock this, okay. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Pass disk, collect this. Inner core segment, collect this, okay, okay. Outer core segment, collect this. Okay, it's getting a little bit intense now. Maybe I have energy ball. Okay, collect this. I'm, uh, it's 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 too much for me to remember. So I'm defense droid. This will assist you. Bomber, destroy this. Okay. She's she's blinking with her eyes. So is this nice? Copter, destroy this. Okay. Dipod, destroy this. Oh, thank God it's not an iPod. Gun turret, destroy this. <laughs> okay. Stuker, destroy this. Petrol, oh, patrol, destroy this. Man trap, avoid this. Yeah, yeah, it looks I should avoid. Gate, avoid. Gate? Why should I avoid a gate? Elevator, enter this. Okay, portal, enter this. Okay, this portal looks familiar. This re looks really familiar if, if you've played Star Fox. Oh, it's in Dolby's round even. Wow, so this is high tech, high standard, stand of the, stand of the art? 
No, that's not right. State of the art, not stand of the art, sorry. English. All right, options. What options do we have? Language, English or Espanol? Okay, let's go with English and difficulty. Let's, let's select easy. CPU targeting. Okay, so this is target assist, sound stereo, mono or stereo, music test. Oh, there's even a music test. This is nice. I like it to, to, to just, yeah, listen to the music actually. Okay, press start. Oh, this was probably the intro. Well, never mind. You probably want to see some action, so do I. So let's start. Select training or game. Should we train? No, we, we jump right into the game. And this is when... Oh, this is a Transformers kind of game. This is nice. Okay, so I jump right into the game and we'll be complaining that I don't understand what to do. The Vortex. Travel through the Vortex to the Aikido system, where the Aikido forces await and the pieces of the core are hidden. Destroy as many of the enemy fighters as possible to hinder their chances of ruling our planetary system. Yeah, that makes sense in some very uh, tired sci-fi thing. This makes sense. Good luck! Okay. So, okay, I can shoot. Okay, I can shoot and this is okay. I'm, I'm already in here. So I'm shooting and this is auto-targeting. Okay, I get it. I get it. So it's Star Fox only. So how do I move? Okay, I think I should go into this direction here. If I jump forward. Okay. This is like Star Fox, only boring so far. But I, I don't hear the music, so it could be actually real, real good. So how do I speed up? I only know that I have to shoot some, some stuff. Good. Oh, if I hit B, I turn around. Okay. If, what happens if I? Oh, let's shoot this one here. I can shoot stuff. I really like that your bullets are also uh, on, on the radar. Okay. So, so from what I can see now, it's just target practice here. What happens with the shoulder buttons? Nothing really. Select. Sonic Jet! Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's it's pretty much Star Fox 2. Only not as good as Star Fox 2. But good, good, good. Now we're, we're more in the midst of it. Okay, is this, should I collect this or shoot this? I, I'm going to shoot everything before, before I take my chances. I just shoot anything. Okay, did I just crash? I don't know. Okay, what if I hit B? Break on! Of course, I love my brakes. Okay, should I go through the portal here? This looks like a portal. Oh, I got hit! Entering sector 2. Oh my god, I, I think I'm being assaulted from behind. This is not nice. Good luck! Okay, so we're here. Back at this one here. So probably I should take care of all the enemies first before trying anything else. Okay, if I keep on shooting, I've, um, I've just noticed that on the bottom right here, um, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm my systems overheat or something, but never mind. But if I just hold it, does holding do something? No. Okay, from from what I can tell now as a gamer who doesn't know anything about this game, I think I know what my objective is. Shoot anything that shoots back at me. But one thing that's already a little bit annoying is this huge blob of thing that I am. That I can't really steer or actually look at what I'm, I'm shooting at. So... This is a bit annoying, but yeah, I mean, this is one probably one of the f uh, first third-person games in 3D, so probably they didn't really actually know what they were doing. Well, on the other hand, Star Fox uh, also got it right, but Star Fox 2 suffered from the same problem. If you've watched my uh, uh, Let's Play of, of Star Fox 2, if, when you're on the ground and in the walker mode, uh, you pretty much have the same problem. It's everything is just a little bit too much. You you don't really really see who's attacking you or where you are attacking at and where you're shooting at. So 
yeah. Okay, so far right now this is looks to be uh, a pretty box standard. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is really harsh. But uh, the graphics aside, it's a standard arcade shoot 'em up game. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding anyone, right? If, if I'm if I'm really saying this. Okay, so now that I'm not playing in in my fighter mode or what what, what this was before when I hit select, this one the, the Sonic Jet, uh, and I'm not. Okay, walker mode, okay, because yeah, I'm, I'm not moving at a fast speed, I can, the enemies that don't appear fast enough, so I can really take my time and just, just shoot, shoot at those, so. What I like about this uh, Super FX chip here is the shading looks a little bit better than from, from what uh, I'm, I'm used to from the Star Fox games. But, yeah, if the rest is not so nice, then... Should I collect this? I think I should collect this. You picked up an energy bonus. Okay, so I should have been collecting this. Okay, but this one here is also red and gray, and I can shoot it. Okay, from a design perspective, uh, it's not really clear, frankly, what you should be collecting and what you should be shooting at. I mean, this one here is a mess of blue and red and gray. Uh, if you re recall, Star Fox has a really a simple but also very straightforward color language. Everything that is some kind of red or, or orange gray blinking, of re if it's gray and just has some orange or red areas, uh, that's an enemy, you should shoot it. And maybe even with the bosses, it's their, their, the point they are most vulnerable at, because video games. And anything that helps you, uh, or is, is of an ally of, of you, is blue, gray or gray blue. So this this really helps with Star Fox because even with the simple graphics, you can tell from afar uh, what uh, yeah what you should be collecting up and what you should what what you should be avoiding. Okay, now that I'm really here, just just taking my time here, strolling around in Walker mode. Uh, this is pretty easy, close to pretty boring. All right, so hard shell. Okay, you know what? Now that I think I've uh, took out most of the enemies, we're here now at entering sector two, and I switch back to my walker mode, where I'll be shooting at some more enemies. This is nice. No, it's not. It's a little bit boring, to be honest. But uh, as I said before, probably I'm, I'm not not uh, uh, yeah. Not understanding the game correctly. This reminds me, yeah, a, a little bit of asteroids, or yeah, not so much asteroids. It's, it's more like Galaxian or Galaga, where it's just there uh, uh, waiting to shoot some uh, formations of enemies. But here, they come very sparse and very slowly at you. So maybe it's it's because I'm playing this one here on easy. Yeah, could be. But, yeah, the, the other thing is uh, that it's set entirely in space, and space usually says 360 degrees of freedom, right? Uh, but what does this one here do? Well, it has these blue boundaries here, so that you don't stray off course too much. So, uh, again, a little bit like, like Star Fox, this one appears to be more or less a rail shooter. But, yeah, I mean, if, if you don't allow the player to go left or right, uh, then don't put them in space, put them in a canyon or something. Yeah, I mean, of course, I'm talking here from my high horse of, of, of indie gaming with uh, 25 years in between uh, what, what those guys did here with this game and me messing around with Game Maker and Unity. Oh, it's another capsule, maybe I should collect it up. But uh, on the other hand, great design survives the test of time. And this one here, is a little bit boring. I mean, technically impressive at, at its time, right? But from what we can see now, I mean, if this came out yesterday on Steam, uh, I wouldn't be paying a lot of money for it or not even even a little bit of money because it really doesn't look that interesting. I mean, all you do is shooting and maybe the music is good. I mean, I'm since I'm playing not with, with music, is this? This is a little... This is a bat or something. Can I hit it? Probably. Probably I should be hitting it, but I, but I just can't. 
but it's shooting back at me. Huh. Oh, okay, maybe I had to, to shoot real. I mean, I had to aim really, really. <sighs> Pay much attention with my aiming. This is what I meant to say. Struggling with the English English language. <laughs> Did I just mess up the word English? Oh my god, yeah. Struggling with the English language and sucking at games. Cheers, this is Phil Plays Games. Sorry. Or as it is now known as Phil Motion Video, which was funny the one second that I came up with it and uh, thank you for sticking around. Talking about sticking around, this video is now recording for, what's it now, 15 or so minutes? And I don't think we're going to have anything more interesting here, you know what, I'm going to switch now back to my Sonic chat and see if if, if things now get... Defeat the warrior! Crexus? Cruiser? I, I didn't read. Okay, now here it blinks blue, which in, as I said before, in, in Star Fox language this would mean... Oh my god! Oh my god, this is not good! In Star Fox language this would, would mean it's, it's, it's good, but... Hard shell? Okay, it's it's really it's really taking me apart here. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm s switching back to walker mode and just uh, no Sonic Jet no break on no just just attack this one here. Oh my God, this isn't too good. Oh, I hit start. Good. Did I hit it? No. Did it hit me? Okay, I can turn around, but I don't want to turn around. I just want. I don't even know. Uh, if I'm hitting it right, I mean, of course I'm not hitting it right now, but this thing really is just, it's just killing me straight, straight in the, it's killing me straight in the face. This is not, not how you say things. Good, looks like F1, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Okay, so we're here still at level one and still fighting the same old enemy, so. Ladies and gentlemen, and Ashley, this is Vortex. It's graphically impressive for the time it came out. It probably has great music because, I mean, it's Dolby's round. But from a game design perspective, it's underwhelming. Probably like this video. <laughs> so I won't keep uh, uh, any more. Uh, keep you. I won't keep you any longer busy with watching this crap here. I only wish you have a nice weekend and see you around. Hopefully next time with something that's a little bit more interesting. Oh look, it's shooting. Thank you.